Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned before we went live, you're as much a part of this as the players. When we bring them out, we want to see you up on your feet and enjoying the show. Each of our four matches to begin with, we'll see a professional player from England taking on a local challenger from here in Cyprus. So please, please make sure you get behind your local player and support them. Three of the players on show this evening are from Liversol. Oh, thank you. So we're just waiting for our players to arrive. You can stand up in anticipation if you like. It's early, I know. Oh, one of them is, there we go. The players were busy in exhibitions uh, last night, going to local venues. I hope some of you were there. I know that man was, the MC. You can take over at half time, sir. Okay. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, the players are on their way from Paphos. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the first player we're going to introduce is the young man from Limassol, just 17 years of age. Please give him the warmest of Cyprus welcomes as he comes to the stage. It's Nicolas Economou! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make him feel better. Just one more cheer for Nicholas here. And what a match we begin with. He faces a current holder of nine BDO World Ranking titles. He is the BDO's world number one. Please welcome the twice reigning Winmore World Masters champion. From England, it's the bullet, Stephen Bunting. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Cyprus Challenge 2013, and it's our first quarter final. Best of nine legs. First leg, Nicholas to throw first. Game on. Ninety five. Ninety five. One hundred and forty. 
59. Sixty. Ninety seven. One hundred. One hundred and forty. Nicholas, you require one hundred and six. Ninety-eight. Stephen, you require one hundred and ten. Game shot on the first leg. Stephen Bunting. Second leg, it's Stephen to throw first. Game on. Sixty. Sixty. It makes the game interesting. Sixty. Another sixty by Stephen. Come on, Nicholas. That's it. He's found the treble. One hundred. It's not. I'm not quite sure if Stephen's been beaten by any seventeen-year-old before, but Nicholas has got all the crowd support behind him tonight. Sixty. Stephen's great on them sixties, but not not just yet. And Nicholas found the treble again. One hundred. Another nice turn. Puts him in command for his leg. But looks like Stephen's going to... 140! Hit a good score, he has done. He's left himself 181. Still not a doubt shot. 41! That's unlucky, is that? Steve Stephen can leave himself a good finish. 140! 40, he leaves him 41. That's great hearts. Well, Nicholas, you've got to punish this now. You've got to get on to it. Need a big treble. 45. Only 45. Stephen, you require 41. 41. 9, double 16. There's a 9. Double 8. 25. Have a chance, Nicholas. Nicholas, you require 55. 155. Treble 20, treble 19, double 19. He's missed the first 20. One hundred. One hundred. Just left himself there. Stephen, you require sixteen. Stephen misses. Game shot on the second down. leg. Two Stephen Bunting. Third leg, Nicholas to throw first. Two zero. Game Steve on. Steve Bunting, where the young lad from Limassol is playing extremely well, and he's in the sixty again. One hundred and forty! And Steve is going to have to pull the cards out. Ninety-three! Good recovery, Doc. Sixty! One hundred and eighty! One hundred! 
excellent response from the young lad from Limassol. Fifty-eight. Stephen seems to be a bit up and down at the moment. One hundred and twenty-three. <laughs> Stephen, you require one hundred and seventy. So Nigel, I on a check. Stephen's gone a little bit wayward into the five there. Pressure starting to tell. Thirty. Nicholas, you require 78. Should be 60 double four. 38. 30 left, maybe. Stephen, you require 140. Treble 18, treble 18, double 6. 92. Missed his, missed his second Nicholas, dot. you require 40. 20. There's an error on the scoreboard there. Nicholas Steven, requires 20. Stephen, you require 48. Game shot on the third leg. Stephen Bunting. Again, in that leg, Nicholas was close. Fourth leg, Stephen to throw first. Game on. One hundred and forty. Yeah, Steve Bunting starting to pick up the pace now. Forty-five. Well, Nicholas tonight, of course, it's uh, experience. He's only a young lad. I know that he wants to go to the UK. 100. 140. That was a very good reply under pressure. 120. I think what was very satisfying is that Stephen is having to play to be this young lad. 125. Very good, that's very good. Stephen, start. you require 141. 97. So Nicholas will need to hit a high score here. 83. Okay, this is a good Stephen, response. you require 44. Yeah. Game shot on the fourth leg. Stephen Bunting. Fifth leg, Nicholas to throw first. Four legs to zero. Game on. Nicholas requires this leg to stay in the match. Stephen, we can see he's sweating there. They're feeling the 40. Pressure, feeling the pressure. 100. Nice, another nice ton. 81. Good, good response by Nicolas. 134. Okay. 100. Yeah, another good response from Nicolas. He's keeping with him. One hundred and eighty. Eighty-five. Stephen, you require eighty-seven. Double eighteen. 
game, shot, game shot and the match Stephen Bunting Stephen Bunting 5-0 but I think a very good performance by the young lad I don't know what Scott thinks about the performance from Nicolas it's a good match for Stephen well, that way Nick Nolas played really well um, Stephen just a bit too strong with him Stephen decided to hit his double straight away and didn't really get Nicholas a chance but it's a great game to watch and a great start to the Cyprus Challenge 2013 Thank We're you. going to get a few words from the two players, so we'll invite we'll Fortune Sports to our MC to Richard us down now for please. a couple of you interviews. Can both step over, guys. So, Stephen, you won the first game. A few words about the game, a few words about the other guy. He's 17 years old. How do you feel about that? He's a lot better than what I was at 17. Um, fantastic talent. Um, I played really well there, to be honest. Um, I, I tried not to give him many chances because I watched him practicing yesterday and he's, he is a fantastic player. I knew if I'd have given him a chance, he'd have took it. So I just tried to be as clinical as I could, really. Uh, do you enjoy your stay in Cyprus? Is your first time here in Cyprus? It is, yeah. We've, we've been really well looked after. The hotel's fantastic. We've been out for meals and uh, the people here are very good. So uh, I'll definitely be coming again. Perfect, perfect. Uh, okay, what are your predictions for tonight? Okay, I know it's the first game, but what is the prediction for tonight? Um, I'll just take, take each game as it comes. If I can continue playing like that, I've, I've got a chance. But there's there's another lot of quality players here, so you can never count the chickens before the pot. Thank you very much, Steven. Let me translate for the... the oh, Kyrgios Banding, has said that he's very happy for the game. Εντυπωσιάστηκε πάρα πολύ με το επίπεδο του Νικόλα. Είναι πολύ καλύτερο λέει, από ότι ήταν εκείνο στα 17 του χρόνια. Ε, δεν του έδωσε καμία ευκαιρία, προσπάθησε να του δώσει καμία ευκαιρία γιατί τον είδε να κάνει πράξει, λέει και τον φοβήθηκε. Αυτό είναι πάρα πολύ μεγάλη τιμή για τον Νικόλα μα. Συγχαρητήρια, Νικόλα. Συγχαρητήρια. Ε, έχει, είναι η πρώτη του φορά στην Κύπρο, το έχει διασκεδάσει πάρα πολύ και ότι θα προσπαθήσει να κάνει το καλύτερο για την συνεχόμενη βραδιά. Δεν μπορεί να κάνει κάποια πρόβληση, είναι το πρώτο παιχνίδι. Θα τον δούμε στη συνέχεια. Thank you very much, Steven. Thank you very much. Νικόλα, η πρώτη σου εμπειρία σε ένα έτσι μεγάλο event πάνω στο stage. Πώς σου φάνηκε. Έπαιξε με ένα πρωταθλητή ο οποίος δεν είναι και εύκολο. Εγώ μια ευκαιρία, ε, κόλλη μου. Το νιώ ήταν σήμερα, ξέρεις το. Το νιώ ευκαιρία να βρω από το Αγγλία. Έφαλες, χαίρομαι πολλά. Με έξε καλά βασικά. Τα σχόλια που έκανε ένα τέτοιο πρωταθλητή για σένα, πιστεύει ότι θα σε βοηθήσουν, πιστεύει ότι ξέρει κάποια εμπειρία με αυτό το παιχνίδι, και θέλω να μου πει και ποια είναι η πρόληψή σου για σήμερα ή ποιον βλέπει στο τελικό. Βλέπω με μόρι. Thank you very much. Σε ευχαριστώ πολύ, Νικόλα μου. So, actually, Nick, Nick thanks Steven for all his good words. Uh, he was very excited. By uh, playing Stephen Banding, uh, he's the um, number one in the world right now, number one ranked in the video. Uh, he gained experience. He's very happy that uh, he lost and he can sit down and enjoy the games. And what are the predictions for tonight? Uh, Hermos and Nectarios, none of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Fossis. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give them one big cheer as they leave the stage. Our first challenger this evening, as I say, just 17 years of age, Nicholas. And through to the semi-finals, one of the best players in the world. He's video number one. He's Stephen Bunty. So a couple of minutes, we'll move on to the second game, which will be Elmos Corrado, who is the number one ranked player in Cyprus against Scott Mitchell. This could be quite a close game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's not over yet. That's just one match. We've got six more to go. We're going all the way down to a winner this evening.
I'm sure that Nicholas will be signing autographs this evening. Stephen, meanwhile, is going to move into the commentary position for our uh, online stream. Yeah, we have Stephen next to us now. He's uh, looking fairly red and sweaty. Uh, Maybe you can give us a few more comments. Uh, Our next match continues in We took Nicolas with us to Romania this year, and I was talking to Sue Williams of the BDO about th this guy. He's only a young guy, but he's a lot of talent, and he just needs the opportunity. As he said on the stage, he wants to go to the UK, really needs to be taken under somebody's wing. So you know, hopefully we can push him forward and give him that opportunity. Anyway, Stephen, give us a few comments on your game first. Yeah, re really happy with the way I played. Um, Obviously, Nicholas played exceptionally well. I just tried not to give him as many chances as I could. And um, when my chances come, I, I was quite clinical, to be honest. Me, me average 96-something or 99-something. And I think um, Nicholas had a 29-point-something. So it just goes to show, at 17 years of age, what a fantastic talent he actually is. I think, of course, the point is here in uh, countries such as Cyprus, where darts is evolving, it's an evolving sport, you know, we, we require uh, assistance in order to be able to progress our players. Because in many of these sports here, you, we have talent, we have talent, but um, it's the infrastructure that you require. And obviously, a lot of this comes down to uh, money available, sponsorships, etc. Uh, but uh, I, I, because we will assist you as much as we can, and hopefully in uh, two, maybe two or three years, because Stephen's also a, a young lad, uh, a young lad, two or three years, maybe he'll be giving him a, a better game up on stage in the UK. Anyway, we're waiting now for our second game, which, as I said, is Emos Gorado, who's the number one in Cyprus, Andy Limassol, against Scott Mitchell. I have a feeling this may be the closest game tonight. Really up to Emos if he plays at his top, and Scott maybe is a well, little, a little bit Well, thank you, ladies down. and gentlemen. Welcome he back to the Cyprus Challenge here in Limassol. Uh, we move on to our second quarterfinal match, and we welcome once again a gentleman from here in Limassol. Please put your hands together for Ermos Karavu. <laughs> And Ermos faces an Englishman in great form, twice a former Swiss Open champion. He's the reigning French Open and Sun Park's Masters champion. It's Scotty Dog, Scott Mitchell. But to be honest, the, the calibre of the BDO players that we have with us tonight, they are four of the top ten. I think we have the one, two, four and nine. I don't think that we could have asked for any better group of players, both on the hockey and off the hockey. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Our second quarter final, once again, the best of nine legs. First leg, Ermos to throw first. Just to explain that the player Game on. bull up downstairs in the practice room. Sixty. 
steady start from Amos. Very 140! Steady. Very steady darts from Scotty. One hundred and twenty-three. Excellent reply. I think that uh, we can see that the BDO players they're taking nothing for granted tonight. They've come here to win. Fifty-five. Yeah. Lost his darts a little bit there, Scott Mitchell. Forty-one. One hundred and forty. As you can see, he's hitting his sixes. If he can keep it consistent, he's going to be uh, somebody to be fighting for the title this evening. Sixty. And there we go, Scott. Not on the checkers yet, but I'm sure they'll put a pretty large hold in this. Forty-six left. 126. Double 20 to finish. Elmos got over back from 217. 137. That's all that you could do is to put you require force under some pressure. Twenty, and that may give Amos a chance if he can finish his Amos, you're twenty double eighty. Double 10. Eighty. That's not double tops. Forty. Uh, it's unlucky. He had the chance there. Scott, you require twenty. Be surprised if Scott misses this three darts. That is. Oh, no he's score. Bust, he's bust the score. So this is another opportunity for Amos. No, no score. Zero scored. Zero. Amos, you require 40. Let's see if Amos got over can finish this, this leg. Double 10. Double 5. And the Game shot on the first leg. And it's the first, the first leg for a Cypriot player this evening. Second leg, Scott to throw first. Game on. One hundred and thirty-five. One hundred and forty! And I can assure you all that Elmos will get better as he goes along. Eighty three! Sixty two! The second the second dart just clicked off his first First dart's flight. It's 137. 126. Scott, you require 146. 54, 32. It's 74 left. 42. 
140. He's left the checks for the Scott little Europe bit of pressure. Scott Europe 32. Game shot on the second leg. Scott Mitchell. For the third leg, I'll pass you over to Stephen Bunting. Yeah, I think that that last double 16 or so. Third leg, Ermos to now. throw first. Um, it game seems, on. It seems quite a nervous game. Straight into the treble 20. 140. Brilliant start to the leg by Amos. Slightly snatchy. He still looks a bit nervous to me. 85. Very good last start. Scott recently won the Sun Parks Masters last weekend. He'll, uh, he'll be the force to be reckoned with going into the leg side. With the form like that, he played really well, beat Martin Adams in the final. 100! Um, Amos continuing to hit the treble 20. Sixty. Yeah, he just needs to get that first part in, does Scott. Usually when he gets the first in, he, he always follows it up. But Amos is playing really well. I think we're all in for, uh, for hard games tonight, to be honest. Eighty-three. He needs a big score now, just to keep himself in the leg. Two, two slack darts. Twenty-six. Amos has really got to step on this now. Leave a, leave a finish. Put the pressure straight onto Scott. 85. Good last one. If he can keep it in that one treble every visit, he's going to put a lot of pressure on Scott. 95. So Amos, you require 93. Which way will he go for 25? You know, treble 19, double 18. Oh, it's a good marker. It's just clip off the barrel. Oh. 57. <laughs> Scott needs a treble here. Yeah, he's picked it off. 100. Hermos, you require 36. Feeling must get this. A nervous double nine now. It's always a tough one. If you go inside, you leave nine. You don't want to do that. 27. Scott, you require 135. Scott will start on the 25 oval here. Oh. Treble 20. Treble 19. Can you stay enough? 88. Great last start. Pressure on the Hermos, you require now. nine. Oh. No score. Yeah, the hardest, the hardest start there was to hit the big one. Scott requires 47. Double 16. Oh. 22. Very nervous. Yeah, he looks really nervous. Almost requires Scott. nine. That's a good one, first one. Four. That's a good marker again. I think if he misses, I think Scott will take it. Great. Game shot on the third leg. El Mascarado. Fourth leg, Scott to throw first. I think Scott needs to start big here if he's going to win this leg. Needs a treble. Oh. 26. Bag of nails, as we would say. If Amos starts any, any, anything over the ton here. And then if he's going to put the pressure straight onto Scott. He's straight in. 100! So you need to fill it up. Another one in there. 140! Great darts following up at 26. He's just got to keep plodding along and fighting. It's the best of nine. First of five legs. Amos is straight in again, two of them. 140! Great darts. Took control of the leg now. He's putting the pressure on Scott with every single throw. 
16. He just needs to find another gear, does Scott? He's, he seems to be struggling to me. And if Amos can keep up this um, this treble hit, and he, he's going to win quite convincing, I think. He looks more composed on the stage. 83. That's a great second half. 95. All depends now on what Amos does here and set this up. Scott Lerchen on 180. He's gonna, he needs a big in, believe it, Andy. 60. He's got a chance now, Scott. If he can put two in it. Put the pressure on Amos. Oh. He just doesn't seem to have found the range on the board yet. He started off so well. 43. Edelmost requires 118. 1-118, treble 20. Treble 18, now set it up. Oh, 60. 58 left. Scott, you require 137. I'd say Scott really needs to take this out. Edelmost on 58, go 3-1 up. 97. Edelmost requires 58. Could be in 18 for tops. Double top. Great. Game <laughs> shot on the fourth leg. Edelmost Carado. Well, I did say earlier that I thought this might be a close game. Edelmost is playing extremely well. Scott is a bit here and there at the moment. Fifth leg, Ermos to throw first. And if Ermos can stay Game in, on. in that 60. One hundred and forty. Started off where he left off in the last game. And Scott is really struggling here. He's left and right, and he just seems to be all over the board. Forty-five. Amos just needs to keep plugging away, as Stephen said. If he can hit a 60 every visit. 100! There he is again, another 100. It'll be interesting to see his uh, figures at the end of the game. 60! Does not seem to have got the range. 60. Immense concentration from Amos. 100. That's a good third dart. Good third dart. Maybe give him a bit of confidence. 44. One hundred and forty. That's good darts from Scott. Edmos requires one hundred and fifty-seven. One five six. Play one five seven. He's just sneaked into the five. So it's got Twenty-six. To Scott, you require one hundred and fifty-six. Forty-two. Edmos requires one hundred and thirty-one. Just needs to lead himself to check and put the pressure back on Scott Mitchell. Forty-five. Scott, you require one hundred and fourteen. A very doable finish, a player of Scott's caliber. And again, he's, he's wayward. He's dropped into the four. Oh, he's actually sna he's actually snatching his. Seventy-eight. Elmos, you require eighty-six. I think Elmos Garado needs to finish this. Otherwise, Scott Mitchell should be back in at three-two. It's a good ball finish. Game yeah. 
Shalana Fitle. Uh, we can see he's playing with a lot Elmos of confidence. Garatu. A lot of confidence. Sixth leg, Scott to throw we'll first. Be, we'll be Game on. Scott, I'll pass you over to Mr. Bunting to commentate on this last leg. That ball then was absolutely massive. 41. Start. Got him out of a bit of trouble there. It looked like he was um, looking to the finishing line and getting a bit nervous, but what a fantastic ball that was. Scott really, uh, really in trouble now. As Amos is... Uh, 16! Thrown really steady and Scott's quite erratic. That's a brilliant first half for Scott. Needs another one over that. 95! Slightly snatchy still. 4-1 down, you can't afford to lose another leg, otherwise it's game over. Amos straight back into the red, he's, he's throwing some red. 100! Scott just needs to throw everything at Amos now and, and just hope for the best. Trying it as doubles first start and put the pressure back onto Amos. 83! Yet again, a, a sloppy dark on for the 19 in the 3. Seventy nine. Great trouble, mate. Great trouble, eighteen there. He's wavered again. This is. I've never seen Scott play this bad before. Forty five. He's, um, he's usually really, really steady and straight down the twenties, but I don't know what what's happening here. Maybe the pressure and there's quite a good audience in as well. 121. Brilliant start. 1-2-1. One, one. Please, 1-4-1. One, one. Press it straight on Scott again here. That's a good treble. Need another. 100. I don't think that's enough. Hermos, you require 141. If he sets this up, press it right on Scott to take that 1-3-7 uh, out. He needs a treble though, Hermos. Set it up. Oh, he's gone 65. Back. That's good thinking. Scott, that. you require 137. Oh, just just outside the treble 20. You need to put pressure on, need to treble. That's a good last 95. One. 76. Hermos, you match. require 76. Treble 20, double A for the match. If he hits the 20, it'll be 16 double top, I would imagine. There's one. 16 top, so is he staying up 20s? 16 double top for the match. Oh. 36. The tension. Scott, you require 42. Nerves set in. Oh, I think you're going for the 10 there. 6, double 18. Oh, double, double 14. Oh. 28. Unbelievable. Ermos, you require 40. Double tops for Ermos. Better take a deep breath. If it doesn't go in, just straight on top for the marker. Double 10. You don't want to be going inside on the tens. Game, shot, and the match! Hermos Carrazo! Unbelievable, well, well deserved. Scott Mitchell, obviously not his best part. Excellent performance from Hermos Carrazo. Thank you very much to Stephen Bunting, who's going to go down and practice a little bit and maybe have something to drink. We'll be back with the third game shortly. Well, we'll get straight on with the interview. I'd like to hear what the two gentlemen have to say about that one. So, Scott, tell me a few words about the game. You played one of our blessed players here in Cyprus. Uh, what did you expect? You haven't played him before. And... Tell me your opinion about Cyprus, uh, Cyprus Darts generally. Well, I, I, he's not new to me. I knew him from uh, being at the World Masters at the Windmill. So I've, se I've seen Hermos around before. So you don't qualify for that if you can't play. So number one, I knew I had a tough game. As soon as all the posters came out, I knew I had a tough game. Um, and secondly, tonight his finishing was great. I think the ball finish was superb. I think that was the turning point of the game. I think at 3-1, I felt I could be back in it. But uh, it was an awesome 86 finish, and you just got to go, you know, he was a good, better guy today. Uh, do you enjoy your stay here in Cyprus? Is it your first time here in Cyprus? 
Uh, my first time in Cyprus. It's, uh, I know it's your winter, but it's a little bit hot for me still. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry about that. But um, um, the hospitality has been fantastic. Um, I'm enjoying the country immensely. And uh, now I'm looking forward to uh, tomorrow night. I need to get some practice. Perfect. Tomorrow you will play number two in Cyprus. <laughs> so, uh, does that make it any easier? I don't know. I don't know. You have to play better, I guess. So, what are your predictions for tonight? Um, I, probably not best to talk to me because I thought I was going to win. <laughs> so, so probably not not best. Uh, ask him. Ask him. He, he'll probably have a prediction. <laughs> I don't know. He has a little bit better than me today. Okay. Thank you very much, Scott. Ο κύριος Μίτσελ ε, βρέθηκε σε μια πάρα πολύ δύσκολη θέση. Έπαιξε ε, κάποιο παιχνίδι το οποίο ήξερε τον έρμα από άλλα τουρνουά στο εξωτερικό. Ε, έπλεξε το εγκόμιό του λέγοντας ότι για να βρίσκεσαι σε τέτοια τουρνουά δεν είσαι τυχαίος παίκτη. Ε, ξεκινώντας σήμερα στο 3-1 πίστεψε ότι μπορεί να επανέλθει αλλά οι δύο σταφήνεις του έρμου και με τον μπουλ που έκανε δεν του έδωσαν καμία δυνατότητα σε αυτό το παιχνίδι. Δεν μπορεί να κάνει κάποιες προβλέψεις για σήμερα και έχει ευχαριστηθεί πάρα πολύ από την φιλοξενία μας στην Κύπρο, την πρώτη χρονιά στην Κύπρο, αν και ο δικός μας ο χειμώνας είναι το δικό του το καλοκαίρι. Έρμο, κέρδισε το πρώτο παιχνίδι της βραδιάς. Καταλαβαίνεις ότι έχεις δύσκολο έργο. Έδειξες ότι μπορείς να τα καταφέρεις καλά σήμερα. Έχεις παίξει σε αρκετά τουρνουά στο εξωτερικό. Η εμπειρία του stage είναι πάντοτε μια πάρα πολύ δύσκολη. Εμπειρία για τον οποιονδήποτε παίκτη. Ποια είναι η άποψή σου, τι έχει να πει για σήμερα και ποιε είναι οι προβλέψει σου για αργότερα. Η άποψή μου για το stage, να πω πρώτα, είναι για όλου είναι η επιθυμία να βγουν πάνω στο stage. Τώρα, για σήμερα, ε, νομίζω μου χάρισε λίγο ο Μίτσελ. Ε, εντάξει, νομίζω έπαιξα καλά. Ε, χαίρομαι που παίζω σε έτσι διεθνεί παιχνίδια. Σημαντικά παιχνίδια για μας. Εμείς είμαστε μία μικρή χώρα. Έχουμε το τάρτ για παιχνίδι διασκέδασης για πρώτα και μετά εντάξει, για επαγγελματικούς σκοπούς λίγο δύσκολο λόγω σπόνσορα, λόγω διαφήμισης. Πολλά και διάφορα. Εντάξει. Ευχαριστούμε την PDO που μας διοργανώνει αυτό το παιχνίδι που, μας, που αναλάβαμε να κάνουμε αυτό το παιχνίδι για μας είναι, πιστεύω, ένα από τα εισιτήρια για αναγνώριση, αν και ήδη έχουμε συμμετοχές κάθε χρόνο σε διεθνές τουρνουά. Πιστεύω από τα σήμερα και προς το εξής να υπάρξει λίγο καλύτερη μεταχείριση για το άθλημα μας. Θα δώσεις κάποιο ψήφο σχετικά με, τα, με τις προβλέψεις που είπε ο Νικόλας. Θα σε δούμε στο τελικό με τον Εκτάριο. Το θέλω πάρα πολύ να βρεθώ στο τελικό. Thank you, Mitch. Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ. Thank you very much. Ε, η κίνηση που κάνει τώρα ο Μίτσ, ο Μίτσελ, είναι ότι το σέβομαι πάρα πολύ ως παίχτη και ως άνθρωπος. Όποτε βρεθούμε σε διεθνές τουρνουά, διότι πολλά συχνά πυκνά το βλέπω, μου συμπεριφέρεται όπως... Ένα στοχο σαν ομοιόν του, πραγματί. Ε, έτσι τον ευχαριστώ για αυτή η κίνηση που κάνει είναι ο σεβασμός σε μένα και εγώ σε αυτόν. Thank you for the game. So, what Hermo said, I will start translating from the end. Uh, yeah, it's really important that what just Scott Mitchell did, swiping his uh, sweat, it's uh, an act of respect. Every time they meet Uh, abroad on big tournaments is uh, Scott Mitchell is actually treating everybody from Cyprus like uh, equals. Okay, we know that they are very good players. We are know that the elite are the elite of the world, but they are so also so very friendly and they are helping darts, especially Cyprus darts, to improve with this kind of uh, with this kind of actions. <laughs> also. Also, Ermo said that okay, he had a very nice game. Although that he thinks that Scott gave him a few games, but I don't think that uh, <laughs> Scott would like that. <laughs> so, and he also would like to ask from uh, he likes to thank BDO 
for helping us organizing this event. And he also votes for having a little bit better recognition abroad as Cyprus darts. And we will improve. We will ha every year we are two, at least three or four times abroad with players from Cyprus. We're trying to get good results and everybody will know us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fortis. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think they've said it all. Can you imagine the speech if he wins the tournament? I mean, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the first man to leave the stage has been enjoying his trip in Cyprus until the last five minutes. <laughs> We're going to give him a round of applause. Mr. Scott Mitchell. And uh, Ermos showing us the reason why it's great to travel to the countries to see how good players are from all over the world. He's in the semi-finals. Ermos Kurathu. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move swiftly on to our next quarterfinal match. And for those of you that are already standing, please remain standing because we have two more great walk-ons to enjoy. We welcome, first of all, our third player from here in Limassol, it's Stelios Stiliano! Stilianu, actually born in Manchester, and a Manchester United supporter, been in Cyprus for many, many years. You stay there, my lovely. I don't want you running away just yet, because we have uh, another great walk on to the stage. We welcome a twice Lakeside World Championship semi-finalist and a former Winmore World Masters finalist. He's a former Zadran Masters champion and the reigning Polish Masters champion. It's the Dazzler, Daryl Fitton. And there's the walk. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a round of applause for our lovely walk-on girls as they leave the stage? Don't be shy, you come up here with us. Following the last game, yeah. Daryl Fitton will, will have come to the stage, meaning business, taking nothing for granted. He's got his union jack plights on. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Cyprus Challenge third quarter final match. Best of nine legs. The first leg, it's Daryl to throw first. Game on. Well, the first thing I noticed is that Daryl is throwing first. So uh, it looks like he's the first one of us to win the bull up downstairs. So that's a good start. 125. And he'll be happy with that. Find that treble 20 first throw. Always good to settle your nerves. Forty-one. 
do have to say uh, the the crowd in here are uh, very respective to to both players, and uh, it was lovely to to hear them lift the roof off the place for uh, 97. Uh, it was it was fantastic. Thirty. Got a bit of lateral drift there into the fives. Maybe looking to straighten those up as the game goes on. It's just early doors. There he's still getting time to settle. Darrell will still be settling too. Fifty-eight. It's a good chance here to get some points back. It's a good sixty. 85. Needed a 140 really there. Needed a 140 there really to get himself back in it. Daryl's back in the lipstick. Just a 180. 180. The 180 cars up in the air there. One hundred. Uh, he's starting to settle now down now. I believe he's starting to settle one. down. So will he go nine or one? He's gone on the nine route. Double sixteen for the first leg for Fitton. Game shot on the first leg. Down Fitton. Thank you, Scott. Second leg, Stelios to throw first. Game on. Hopefully, Stelios' nerves have settled a little bit. He started finding the 60 as well. He's 100. He's, he's, ca he's capable of taking the leg off of Daryl Fitton, but he need, needs to be playing at his best. Daryl's in the 60 again. 121. Daryl's found his range. So probably tomorrow night we'll have to move the board a little bit <laughs> to give our guys a chance. Twenty-six. Yeah, Stelios is a bit wayward. I think he's uh, feeling the pressure being up on the stage. Now that's off the wire. It's unlucky. But he's straight back in there. Good second dart. One hundred and twenty. Didn't let the first bounce out face him at all. Straight in there again. Second and third dart. Like to see this evening the the crowd, there are children in the crowd. It's a forty-three. It's, it's quite a, fam a family affair. And he's back in the sixty straight away, Daryl. He's going to be in contention definitely tonight. The way he's playing. One hundred and forty. Daryl, you require 120. Triple 20, 20, double 20. It's the usual route. And he's straight into the 60, single 20, double 20. Double tops. 100. Uh, he's below, but Stelios, 272, well behind. Daryl, you require 20. Double 10 to take the second leg. Oh, he's well inside. Double 5, never easy. And he's inside the 5. 16. Instead, just at least 140, 180. Put a little bit of pressure on Daryl. Uh, he's very wayward, very wayward. Snatching at his darts. 41. Daryl, you require four. 16. He's just inside. 16. Game shot That's on the second leg. That's a good dart. Daryl Fitton. That's a good dart. Third dart, always a pressure dart on double one. Third leg, Daryl to throw first. 
Game on. Yeah, those of you watching there that fairly new to the game. You notice that Daryl didn't go straight at double one there for that dart. He, he gave himself a bit of a feeler dart. 59. Put it above the wire and, and, and plopped the second one in there just to make sure. Uh, always, a, always a good thing to do. Get your range as you're, as you're moving around the board. And, and if you get the chance. Unfortunately, Stelios wasn't even close to him there, so he didn't really want to make too many mistakes. This is a little better from Stelios now. He's obviously calmed down a little bit. We're two legs in. Starting to settle nicely. Pacing around behind fitting. There he is. He's uh, 81. Hopefully enjoying the experience. What it is? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Elias a Man United supporter, and obviously Darren a Liverpool supporter. So uh, they, 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 have a, they have an arch enemy way of, of being an enemy off of the board. But that's better from Stelios. A ton now. He's he, he uh, now putting pressure on, fit and throw, but that comes fitting. That's a perfect dart for a 180 for Daryl. Perfect dart, that first one. 180! Returns the pressure straight back onto fitting, uh, onto Stelios from fitting. 60! Well, that's not a disaster, but Daryl is well and truly got his darts back after Stelios had, had done well there to, to break him. That's a problem dart for Daryl. He has to go round that now. And then 41, will he move away? 65. Set the shot up, Stelios back on 216. Run. Going to have to run. No, it's now going to in. I don't see Stelios as a runner. That's unfortunate. 56. I think every dart there within a Nat's whisker of what he was going for. Very accurate, Daryl. Stelios needs to pressure the 60 that Fitton has left. Needs a 60 with the last. 60! Daryl, you require 20! <laughs> Little mistake there from uh, Richard Check Ashdown. Oh, you, you couldn't put it any closer than that. You just could not put it. 40! Either dart. Either dart. Stelios, you require 133. So this is a big ask to break the dart. It's a big ask for Stelios. 133. Three. He'll start at the top. It's no good now. He's going to have to try and set it up to pressure the, the fit and double. 59. Daryl, you require 20. Daryl, stop having a good look. We spoke about before. The next one, slide down the barrel. Slightly inside. Game shot on the third leg. No mistake with the Down last one, fitting there. No mistake at all. Fourth leg. As he takes a three-nil lead. Game on. Yeah, good darts from from Daryl Fitton. Pressure on the last last dart, double five, but straight in, straight in. Still, just still not found his range. He's uh. Oh, it seems to me to be a, li a little bit nervous. 100! But that's a good first three darts. 100 on the board. Give him a lot of confidence. Daryl again straight into the 60. And another one. And that's... 140! Nice and consistent. Eighty-one. Let the third, third dart slide. That's a, that's a good response. He's still in touch there. And he's straight in again, Daryl. He's really got his range on that sixty. One hundred. Stelios has to keep with him. And he's, he's in the sixty. Could use another one or another two. 
100. And he's fighting for this fourth leg, Stelios. And again, dove straight into the 60. One hundred and thirty-nine. They're just back on two twenty. Really does need a one forty here. And the second one's into the sixty. Another sixty. One hundred and forty. Needed the one hundred and forty. Now you require one hundred and twenty-two. He's going to travel 18, travel 20, double four. He's missed the travel 18. That's left him 104. He's gone for 54 bull. I think that's just under. That's, that's left him 54. Stelios, you require here is 80. A, here's an excellent Charles Stelios to take this leg. Two darts, travel 20, double 10. And he's in there, double 10. Just inside. He has to hit this double five. No score. And that was quite a bit wayward. He set himself up at Now you require 68. Probably 60, 60 double four. He's just about 48, 16, double 16. Double 16, to take the fourth leg. Game shot the fourth leg. It's a good finish. Darryl Fitton. He was given the chance by Stelios and he took his chance. Fifth leg, Darryl to throw first. Game on. So 4-0, first, first one to five legs, so Stelios has to win this leg to stay in the tournament. 85. Okay, he's consistently in the 60. Well, it's this consistency that you have to find to win the tournament. Fifty-five. I must say that when I saw Darrell go on stage, he, he did look ready for business. 140! That's it. But it's unfortunate. Stelios, 13. Stelios is a much better player than this. I think he's just a case of nerves. He's not used to the big stage. One hundred. There it is again into the sixty. Very consistent. Very consistent. Forty-five. One seventy-six for, for Daryl Fitton. No, no finish, but he'll make a very large hold in this. 96, another 60. 140! He left himself double 18, 36. This, is, this match seems to be over. Very nice, consistent dance from Daryl Fitton. 60! We'll see if he Darryl, can, you can carry that 36. through to the semi final. So, double 18, Daryl to take the match. Just inside. Double 9. Well, he's gone inside the double nine. That's Stelios. 28. Stelios a long way behind. Forty-one. Now you require eight. He's inside the double four, so... Four! Although Stelios is a long one, I don't think Darrell will be very happy with his finishing at the moment. Take this through to the semi-final, he could be punished. Eighty! Hmm. Darrell, you require four! So, double two for Darrell Fitton. Again, he's just inside, just inside. No score.
Well, it looks like he's going to lose the match 5-0. I'm sure he's enjoyed himself. 64. One of the most likable persons. Now you require four. In the Cyprus starts. Game. Shot. Oh, five and zero. Match. Darryl Fitton. Darryl well played. Well, well played, Stelios, for reaching the reaching this the, the last eight. And we we now look forward to the last game. Thanks very much to Scott Mitchell for helping me out. No problem. Any time. And he's just going to go downstairs and do a bit more practice. Loads. <laughs> a lot more practice. <laughs> So, Daryl, did you have a chance to talk with Scott? And did he tell you what happened a few minutes ago? No, I didn't. Um, just heard Stelios actually got the telephone downstairs. So they must have won 5 1. They tweet like he's joking, but I know he can play that, so I've seen him play before. So. Actually, Stelios is also one of our best players. Okay, it was not his night, but he's a very good player. What do you think about the game? Can you give me a few words about that? I think um, I, I started hitting the score straight away and Stelios took him a couple of legs to, to get used to it. He had two really good legs and it was the eight, which would have been great and given him a lot of confidence to start the next leg. That would have been his start to the fourth leg. So. And I, you know, I've known Stelios for a long, long time, but actually originally from the same neck of the woods. So uh, in England, so we, met, we met quite a few times and he's a true gentleman. Do you enjoy your stay in Cyprus? Is it your first time in Cyprus? Oh, it's not. It's the first time in this area. I've been uh, on vacation before in Cyprus. I like, I love Cyprus, but a little bit too expensive. Like. What are your predictions for tonight? Um, I'm going to win tonight and tomorrow as well. So I'm going to win both. You came to win both, but your last check was not that good. Don't have a chance with Hermos against that. A win's a win. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much, Darren. So, ο κύριος Φίτον, Darren Φίτον, έπαιξε το στέλιο τον οποίο το γνωρίζει και από την Αγγλία και από άλλα του Νουάτος, έβαινε πάρα πολύ σαν παίκτη. Παρόλο που δεν έπαιξε στην καλή του μέρα σήμερα ο στέλιος, ξέρουμε πάρα πολύ καλά την αξία του. Ε, ήρθε πολύ πεπισμένος ότι θέλει να κερδίσει και σήμερα και αύριο. Δεν το υποευχόμαστε, αυτό μόνο στα ελληνικά, δεν θα το πούμε παρακάτω. Ε, ο κύριος Φίδων ε, έπαιξε κάποια παιχνίδια στην αρχή, έδωσε κάποια μέχρι να αποκτήσει λίγο περισσότερο ε, αξιοπιστία στο ρίξιμο του τέλειος, αλλά δυστυχώς δεν ήταν στη μέρα του σήμερα για να μπορέσει να τα αποκριθεί κατάλληλα. Τον ευχαριστεί πάρα πολύ, ήταν ένας πραγματικός κύριος και ελπίζω ότι θα συνεχίσει να κερδίσει. Στέλιο. Στέλιο, δεν ήσουν ο παίκτης που ξέρουμε σήμερα. Δεν έπαιξαμε όσο έτσι. Δεν προσπαθήσαμε, δεν ήθελαμε το χέρι μας. Ήκούσαμε το γόμπα, ήταν προσπαθήσαμε να δούμε το σχολείο. Κάνουμε μια εισήγηση να αλλάξουμε το πρωτάθλημα για Τετάρτε για τι Παρασκευέ που είναι καλύτερα. Ναι, Παρασκευέ είναι πιο καλά. Ποιε είναι οι προβλέψει σου για σήμερα, αφού τώρα είναι το τρίτο μα παιχνίδι, είδε τα προηγούμενα, είδε τη νίκη του έρμου. Ποιε είναι οι προβλέψει σου για σήμερα. Όπω βλέπω τον Τάδε, πολλά ανέβηκαν πάρα πολλά. Όπω το βλέπω, η Αδόν και στη Ρουμανία δεν ήταν τόσο καλό. Σήμερα είναι πολύ καλό. Βλέπω πολλά καλά. Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ, Στέλιο. So, Mr. Stiliano said that uh, Mr. Fidon had a great night. He played really good. He saw him back in uh, Romania, which was not the best game he has saw. Daryl was, uh, he played very good tonight. And uh, he's a little bit, he, he's sorry. He's asking, uh, he's apologizing for not being the player that we all know. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you're going to show your appreciation to both players as they leave the stage through to the semi-finals. So Daryl Fitton, Fitton, excellent game. Zone, Stelios Stelianou. It will be very, very difficult to beat tonight, Daryl Fitton. Stelios, as he said, at least in Greek, was not the Stelios that we know. He was very below form, very below form, but I'm sure he'll be happy for the experience up on the stage. So we now look forward to our fourth game. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, our players are ready for our fourth quarterfinal match. We've seen three players from Limassol. We are now going to welcome a player from Famagusta. So we have the guy Modis, Nectarios Modis. Ladies and gentlemen, please Augusta. put your hands together for Again, Nectarios Motis. Ladies and gentlemen, we now introduce a former Grand Slam of Darts and Winmore World Masters champion. He's the reigning Dutch Open and Czech Open champion. He's the reigning Lakeside World champion. It's Scotty Too Hotty from England, Scott Waits. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Our fourth quarter final of the Cyprus Challenge. Best of nine legs. The first leg, it's Scott to throw first. Game on. Fifty-five. Eighty-one. One hundred and forty. Sixty. Forty-seven. Sixty. Forty-five. And again, he's very, very wayward, snatching at his darts. He just, just needs to find his range. Nectarius needs, Nectarius needs to keep pressurizing and try and lift his game. Again, Scott's very wayward, snatching his darts. 13. He's all over the place, all over the place. And yeah. Sixty. <laughs> Neither of the players at the moment have found their range, but there, there we are, we found the 60. 100. And I'm sure once Scott Waits finds his range, then we'll see the, the real dart player come out. McDarius fighting back. That's 83. 83. <laughs> Scott, you require 101. Both there for the finish. Scott's there first. Obviously gives him the advantage. 86. He's gone 54, 32. 
Game and shot on the first shot. leg. Scott Wakes. Very, a very nice finish after a, leg, a disappointing leg. Throw first. But that will give Scott Wakes a lot of confidence. Nick Darrows now he needs to fight back. 41. Fifty-eight. Scott does not seem to be happy with himself. Forty-one. One hundred and twenty-five. Well, he's found his range on the sixty. Let me if he can keep it there. It'll be a very difficult night for Nectaros. Sixty. One hundred. Mr. Daryl Fitton approaching the table. Looking very happy. I thought, I thought he looked extremely serious and ready for action when he got, got up on the stage. 140! He obviously saw what happened to his friend Scott Mitchell and uh, went there for business today. I, I, didn't actually, uh, I didn't actually see the game. 41! I was, uh, Scott, you require 118. I was practicing downstairs and uh, didn't see it, but I believe everyone must play really good, so that's good. 80! Sixty. Scott, you require thirty-eight. Will he go for this? I think he will. First start. Single three. Thirty-three. Oops. Maybe should have gone the six double sixteen route. Thirty-six. Scott, you require five. Game shot on the second leg. Scott waits. Third leg, Scott to throw first. Game on. Fifty-nine. He just told me actually early on today he's been to see the physiotherapy. He has a problem with his shoulder, Scott. Yeah, he's had to have a, a pull in his shoulder, so... I hope he, uh, 78. I hope he keeps this all the way to the lake side. <laughs> no joke. He knows I'm only joking. 58. If you want to be the world champion, you've got to play the players when they're at the best. 100. Forty-six. You see, with his last night, he seems to pull his shoulder down with his last of that, doesn't he? Yeah, snatching a little bit. I think that all depends on his, his lie of his, his darts. Sixty-two. Because his darts going quite straight, and so if he his darts going just above the treble, he has to switch a lot. Seventy. Hmm, is a bit of a snatch there. Good dad, good One hundred and forty. Fifty-five. It's only requires one hundred and twenty-one. He's got six starts for this at least. Eh? So don't go for the ball. Leave it, Andy. Eighty-one. He left it, Andy. <laughs> that was a good dad in the end. Seventy-nine. Good requires forty. Game shot on the third leg. Nectarius Mottis. 
Yeah, yeah, as we saw, Game Nick Torres enjoyed that double. Uh, double wasn't sure about the throw for the ball, but of course it was for the ten that he went. It was not for the ball. <laughs> Eighty-six. Well, that may that may give Nick Torres some confidence. One hundred. Forty-five. Of course, if you're carrying a little bit of an injury, you don't want to uh, you know, strain it any further. One hundred and thirty-seven. That's more like it from Scott Waits. The type of score that we expect. Twenty-eight. Don't let us keep plugging away. Very nice experience up on on stage. One hundred. Leaving himself one six four. Nice finish. Eighty three. Scott, you require one hundred and sixty four. Sixty. Eighty-three. That's unlucky. Scott, you require one hundred and four. Split into a one. There are various ways you can go about this. It's gone for fifty-four. One well, eighteen thirty-two. Eighty-eight. Just on the wire. More these back home, one seven six. No finish from there. Fifty-five. He's left himself a finish. Scott, you require sixteen. Two ways for Scott Waits. Game shot on the oh, fourth that's leg. a good second dot. Scott Waits. Fifth leg, Scott to throw first. Game on. No, it's, it's actually his dart, his right, right shoulder. Mm. 59. You can see when he pulls his last dart. He's always had uh, like a bit of a pull when he, he throws his last dart, Scott, anyway, but seems to be not in pain but uncomfortable. 60. Yeah. See his first dart is above. 60. You can see the little snatch then at the... 121. Good, good recovery. Let's say from the Lakeside winner to the Grand Slam semi-finalist, he wants to win this tournament as much as all of us, so... You see him determination in Scott's face. If he gets a bad score, he doesn't like it. Seems to have lost, um, lost his fluency on his throw. Oh. 85. 60. Scott, you require 97. You notice the guys when they get under a little bit of pressure, they throw really fast. Double 12 for Scott. 73. Nectarius requires 138. So which way will we go for this one? Trouble 20 first, no. 40. Scott, you require 24. There's two 12s. Two 6s. Not happy. Double three. 
Antonios requires 98. No, got two darts for 38. Double 19. Make it 3 2. 60. Very close. Scott, you require 3. I think that, that burnt his fingers through it that fast. No oh. score. <laughs> Um, go for six. You require 38. Maybe you should go for six. He's going for it. Mm. On that for double eight now. Look. 30. Scott, you require three. On that for double one. Game shot on the fifth leg. Scotland. I think that's the third time Scott's finished Sick on double one. To throw he won't be Game happy on. with his, um, his performance tonight. But... Twenty-eight. Thanks, Del. One hundred and forty. 140 to Scott, puts him in charge of this leg as well. Seems that he's carrying a little bit of an injury to his, to his shoulder. Um, obviously does not want to aggravate that. And he'll be happy to get through this game. 134! Uh, he's starting to step on the gas. 41! It tells I think is a bit a bit over yeah, yeah. It's a bit uh, overawed. One hundred He's left himself one two seven finish. Mod is back on three three two. Twenty six. Again a player Scott you require one hundred and twenty seven. Who will take a lot of good experience away from this game? 40. Well, he's back on 306. Scott weighs 87. And they're showing their treble 17, double 18. 43. Scott, you require 87. So treble 17, double 18 to take the match and go into the semi final. 17. 70 left is 54, double 8. 71. And that's unlucky. But again, Modis is a long way back on 263, so. Scotty should be able to knock this one out. 83. Scott, you require 16. So double eight for Scott. Game. Shot. That's the game. And and eight shot. Scott. A good game by Scott there. I think he played pretty well. Even if he's, even if he's carrying an injury. All right, Daryl, a couple of final comments from you. We'll let you get away. Yeah, um, I think Scott, Scott wasn't very happy about his darts then. Um, you could see his body language. Um, well, he looks like a teapot with his hand on his uh, hips at the moment. But um, it's a win. It's through to semi-finals. You have to play uh, a little bit better than that to beat me. here in Cyprus and uh, I w be besides a few words about the game I would like you to tell me how do you feel about darts in Cyprus? Thanks very much. Um, the people absolutely fantastic. Um, my opponent tonight was fantastic. He was nervous and downstairs we tried to calm his nerves and be more friendly and up here he's really struggled and I felt sorry for him up here. Nectarius is an upcoming talent the last two years he was uh, a member of the national team and a member of the Cyprus team and he's getting there. It's, uh, he's getting experience from that and it was uh, definitely a lucky night for him to play with you in a night like that and he will confirm it later. Yeah, I hope it progresses now. Um, from playing up on stage, get rid of your nerves and play. A lot of sweat. A lot of sweat, yeah. It, it is very hot up here. Can we not play outside? Now, 
as I said, your first time here in Cyprus. Tell me a few things about Cyprus, hospitality, food. Um, we've not been fed. No, the hospitality, the food, the people, the drinks, fantastic. <laughs> to, to, yeah, yeah, I've seen your name back there. To, to be honest, it's some of the best hop hospitality in the world. You can't beat a bit of Cyprus, can you? Brilliant. Thank you very much, Scott. Oh, Kyrgios Waits, Θέλει πολύ να ευχαριστήσει τον κύριο Μότι που έπαιξε μαζί του σήμερα. Προσπάθησε να ήταν λίγο πιο φιλικό και κάτω στο warm up area. Ε, ο Νεκτάριο, αν και ένα ανερχόμενο ταλέντο μα, ήταν λίγο νευρικό σήμερα. ίσως δεν έπιασε και τα επίπεδα τα οποία περίμενε και ο ίδιο σήμερα. Βέβαια, μια τεράστια εμπειρία. Υποσχέθηκε ότι κάπου θα τον ξανασυναντήσει και θα πάρει πίσω τη ρεβάντζ. Ο, ο κύριο Βέιτ επίση θέλει να ευχαριστήσει όλου μα για τη φιλοξενία. Η πείρα και το φαγητό ήταν λέει καταπληκτικό και τις επόμενες δύο μέρες θα προσπαθήσει να επαναλάβει τις δύο ήδη μέρες που έχει περάσει εδώ να και το φαγητό και μπήρα. Λοιπόν, Νεκτάρι, μεγάλη εμπειρία. Φαντάζομαι να παίζεις ένα παγκόσμιο πρωταθλητή σε ένα τέτοιο event δεν είναι κάτι το οποίο το συναντάς καθημερινά. Έχει μεγάλη διαφορά με τα παιχνίδια που παίζουμε εδώ στην Κύπρο. Πες μου λίγα λόγια. Έχει... Πρώτα καλησπέρα σα. Έχει, έχει πολύ μεγάλη διαφορά. Πριν μια εβδομάδα τον έβλεπα στου τέσσερι στο Grand Slam στην Αγγλία ε, και είπα: Θα έρθω να παίξω με αυτόν τον παίχτη. Όντω, ε, μεγάλη εμπειρία. Ε, χρειάζεται μεγάλη προσπάθεια. Πρώτα πρώτα όμω θέλω να ευχαριστήσω όλη, όλη την Παγκύπρια. Ομοσπονδία Σαΐθας, το οποίο μας πρόσφερε ε, όλα αυτά. Τους ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ. Ε, τις μεγάλες προσπάθειες που έχουν κάνει για να φτάσουμε μέχρι εδώ. Ε, για το παιχνίδι προσπάθησα. Ξέρετε, υπάρχουν κάτω φίλοι γνωστοί, μητέρα, πατέρας, γιος, μάνα, σο, ε, γυναίκα, σο, σο, ε, άχος. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. So, what Nectario said is that it's totally different watching the world champion playing on TV and playing him on stage. Something totally different. A few weeks ago, a few days ago, he was watching Scott uh, Waits playing in the Grand Slam of the Final Four and it was something totally different. And today he was here. So he was very nervous on that. Uh, he would like to thank everybody who came here, his family, his dad, his mom, his wife, uh, his son, and uh, he's asking a very big apology for not playing all the dads that we have seen him play. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as the two players leave the stage, let's hear it for Nectarios Motis. And the world champion is still here. He's in the semifinals. Scott Waits. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be shortly taking a break, but before we do that, we've been enjoying the walk-ons with our beautiful walk-on girls. I believe their stylist and the man that's provided those ladies this evening is here. Where's Mr. Harris? If we could bring him up on stage with the two girls, we'll have a little bit of music for him. Anything will do. There we go. Just for a quick photograph. Hello. 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 So, would you like to get? It, would you like to go on the hockey? There we go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Harris, there, and our walk-on girls.
So, ladies and gentlemen, we will be taking a 10-minute break. We'll be back very soon for our semi-finals here at the Cyprus Challenge. Thank you. Finals now move up to the best of 11 legs. That's first to six. Just translating that for Elia. First to six legs in our semi finals. The players are standing by. So we welcome you back to the Cyprus Challenge here in Limassol. Our first player is a local man. He had a fantastic win over Scott Mitchell in the first round. Let's welcome him back to the stage for the semi-finals. It's Ermos Karathu. Ermos opponent, of course, is from England. He's the BDO world number one. He's the twice reigning Wimmore world master. It's the bullet, Stephen Bunting. Very good to hear that all of the players are happy with the hospitality here in Cyprus. We always try to show everybody a very good time. Last night there were exhibitions in Baralimni and also in Limassol where to each of the BDO players attended um, and all of the members in Limassol and Famagusta had the opportunity to play legs with them. They also did their own uh, you, various trick shots. First semi -final, the best of 11 legs. So it's going to be game first on, best of 11. First one to six. Game Steve, on. Stephen Bunting at the hockey. Fifties. And was it back into that sixty? Is it? Eighty-one. Well, this is good to see. We we want to see Hermos put in a good show now. And welcome to Scott Mitchell. He didn't go to the airport and go home. <laughs> Forty-five. And obviously Stephen has got. A lot of nerves playing with Amos now. But. Twenty-two. Oh, he needs to find that sixty. Stephen's gone downstairs. Fifty-eight. Well, he hasn't as yet found his range. Four. 
45. Stevens found that 60 at last. 100! <laughs> 45! Mm. Scott Mitchell is sitting here in thinking to himself, why wasn't there not 60. throwing 45s in the last eight? <laughs> no, he's found it again. 100! That's a good die. He has to continually try to put Stephen Bunting under pressure. And the bullet immediately flying straight into the 60. 80 scored. 85! Away, away would be the third, uh, 85. A good score now from Amos. 85! Stephen, you require 103. Amos on the finish. Stephen, 83. 32. Game shot on the first leg. Finish. Stephen Bunting. You can see from Stephen's reaction there. He's going into this very, very seriously. Taking nothing for granted here. I'll just pass you over to Scott Mitchell. Yeah, fantastic 103 there from Stephen. It uh, will definitely calm his nerves. Uh, we, we'd seen... We'd seen... Uh, obviously, Ermos... Um, Played so well against me where I think he was very, very consistent on his scoring. And that's what won the day at the end. He had uh, some good finishes at the end. Thank you. The second leg, it's our last to throw first. In fact, I threw, I threw just shy of a 28 average, which isn't bad darts at all in any way, shape or form. But uh, Ermos confidence grew as, as the game went on. And as he got in front, he, he played it exceptionally well. And I think... 135. A fantastic start there from Ermos. I think his confidence grew from there on in. Um, and I'm, I'm sure Stephen's very... 140! Stephen's very aware that that, that is Ermos' game and he will take that confidence from scoring well and winning legs and uh, not be frightened to come and, and take a big... 60! Take a big scalp for himself. So... Uh, Stephen's gone in with 140 there, and he's still 60 behind. So it's been a good start to the leg. 100! Game, right? They're almost having the darts. You won't want to let Stephen get away here with this visit. Hey, Julie, won't you? The 160 there. 66. Uh, bit, of, bit of a loose start there. If the, if the target was blocked there, maybe he should have gone downstairs to have a go at the treble 19. But Stephen's in there now. That's that's a 180 throw for him. 140. Two of those little 14 ground darts over one side and leaving the whole bed usually is one that he would finish off. So Hermos really needs a treble 20 here to, to pressure Stephen's 1 2 1. 55. Stephen, you require 121. So he hasn't left a short here, so Stephen will go the 60 route. He'll probably stay there. Oh, he's moved out. 97. So he'll return to 24. Now, Amos will be looking to pressure that shot. He'll, he'll be looking for a ton here to leave himself handy in case Stephen misses. Or he'll be maybe looking for a little more. He's gone downstairs trying to shoot a 95 to leave him... 41. It was the right thing Stephen, to do, I think. Stephen, you require 24. Had he left himself 95 there? He, Game shot on the second He would have leg. had two darts at 20 Stephen and a bullseye, but Stephen's not letting him back. Third leg, Stephen to throw first. A much more, command, a much more commanding leg there from Bunting, and uh, as he heads into the third leg, I'm sure he'll be a little bit more positive about the game, and now he's settled. 100. Thanks very much, Scott. Yeah, we see Stephen is now starting to fire his darts in quickly, gaining more confidence.
M3 needs to pick up this leg, going three legs down. It's going to be very, very difficult to come 60. back. 60! Just to remind you, it's a of 11, six, six legs. And he's into the 60 again. He looks on top of his form at the moment. 140! Okay, that was another good opportunity for a 180, but 140 puts him one in command of this leg as well. Good reply from Mermo straight into the 60. That's two in the 60, 120 squad. 140! Very good reply. As I said, he really does need to take this leg, Mermos. Again, Stephen Bundy straight into the 60. He's really come out of business today. And there's 180! Obviously, remind everybody. 26. We are talking Steven, about you're required, the BDO World num number one. <laughs> 57. He's just outside of the double toll, but surely we'll hit that with his next visit. 65. Stephen, you require 24. Double 12 for a 3 0 lead, but he's dropped into the 9. That'd be surprising. 16. Almost needs a 140 at least for some pressure on Stephen. 16. Stephen, you require 8. So double 4 for Stephen Bunting. Take a 3 0 lead. Game shot on the third leg. Game shot. Stephen Bunting. Fourth off. leg, Ernos to throw first. Game on. So let's see if Ernos can pull a leg back here. 60. The, the 60 seems to have deserted Ernos in this game. Stephen is straight in there again. 137. And he's starting to really pick up the pace. 100. <laughs> Managed to squeeze the, the third dart around the other two darts. Scott Mitchell here saying no luck at all, so... It was a, a very good setup. Mm -hmm. 140! <laughs> 60! Emerson's concentration is 100%. 100%. Steve is concentrating, in the, he's just hammering that 60 at the moment. 98. 85. Stephen, you require 126. That's unlucky for Steve. Amos back on 196, no finish, so there's no problem having one shot at the ball. 100! And Amos came back with Steven, 100 to try and pressurise Steve Bunting's shot. Davey's just inside the double eight. 21. So just inside the double four. Eros, you require 96. Of course, these uh, top class players are not happy if they're not getting their doubles. 20. He's just below. Just below. 56 left. 65. Stephen, you require 4. 30 is the four. Eros, double 18. Stephen Bunting, double two. 
Game shot on the fourth leg. That's a 4 0. Stephen Bunting. Bunting and it's going to be very, very difficult for Amos to come back from 4 0. Down. Fifth leg, it's Stephen to throw first. Game on. There was a window of opportunity there for uh, Ermos. And, 58. Uh, unfortunately, the 96 was a little too far for him. Stephen takes a commanding 4 0 lead. But this is the kind of luck you get with Ermos here when, when, 24. Things, when things aren't quite going for you. I mean, a travel, a travel one there is not a bad dart in any way, shape, or form when it's that close to the treble 20, so he's just not getting a bit of luck there. 60! And there again, Stephen has exactly the same thing, but it doesn't hurt you so much mentally when you're already 4-0 up as when you're chasing the game as Amos is. And you're the world number one, so you can't... 140! Superb darts there for Amos, superb darts. Even just down the look, a little bit blocked. You go downstairs. Ninety-nine. Do I must need another one of those one forties to stay in touch, but that's a little bit loose into the five. Now starting to think about it. Twenty-one. It's not the consistency we saw from him in the earlier game. I hasten to add. Eighty-two. I was there, I know. Back in that 60, if he hits the first one, he's usually there and thereabouts. Seems to be with Elmas, it's all about that first one. 100! Draws back level with Bunting now. Stephen will be looking to try and get away again here. Needs a treble 20 with the last. 60! Again, unfortunate. So this is Ermos' chance, really. This is a big, game-changing throw. Unfortunately, he's a little bit wayward on this occasion. 30! I'm oh, afraid that probably... Stephen, you require 142. That probably won't be enough. So Stephen, look at that 142. There's a treble 20. He'll go for the ball now. Oh, he's missed that little 68. 134. Fantastic. Switch back to the treble 20 to leave himself eight. If you were a betting man, you would say that this is Ermos's last throw of the tournament. 55. Oh. Stephen, you require eight. I do apologise. Have we gone up to best of 11 now? Game shot on the go. fifth leg. Stephen Bunting. So with a 5 0 lead. Sixth leg, Ermos to throw first. Game on. Ermos is needing something big now to come back from here. Thanks, God. Let's hope that Ermos can find something at least to take one leg out of this game. 100! That's a, that's, a nice, that's a nice start. Takes him down to 4 1. Steve Bunting is really motoring along at the moment. 97. Nice recovery with the third dart. Obviously, what we've come to expect of these top class players, they throw down to the triple 19 and normally hit it. 47. Nice. 43. That's unlucky. As Scott was saying, that, li that little millimetre to the right is the treble one. 95. Nice third dart from Steve there. 100! Yeah. Okay, nice dance from Ross. He's a little bit more consistent. Oh, Steve has decided to stay down with the 19. 133! Oh. He's requiring a high score here. And he's into the 60 again. As Scott was saying, if the first dart is in, he's there or there about. And he's got the second one there. Oh, 180! Well
16. Good to see the little hand shake. Edmonds, require 78. The little hand shake from Steve Bunting for the 180. 60 20 double tops. Double tops to take one bank. Uh, 48. And it's unlucky, it's just straight left. Stephen, you require 160. A very doable big finish for Stephen Bunty. You know, stay there for the 60. Double 18. Game, shot, and the match. Well played, Stephen Bunty. Stephen Bunty! <laughs> Get a, a couple of comments from Scott Mitchell before he leaves us. That's a good match there. Lovely finish at the end from Stephen Bunting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he had a terrific tournament, a great win earlier on to reach our semi-finals. I'm sure each and every one of you is going to put your hands together for the man from Limassol. Please put your hands together now. Come on, for Eremos. Eremos makes it, of course, to a semi-final today. It's not his day. He's greeted by our dignitaries. I'll introduce you a bit later, sir. I want to get the full name. But come on, let's have a round of applause as he leaves the stage. Eremos Carathu. <laughs> and what can we say about this man? Uh, into our final here in Cyprus, yet to drop a leg in the tournament. Yep, just to remind you there, a 7-0 in the final would be very nice. He won't mind what the scoreline is as long as he's winning. He's in the final. It's Stephen Bunting. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for semi-final number two and what a match we have in store. The walk-on girls are ready. I can see the hairdos from here. We welcome, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, a former Zogadone Masters champion, the reigning Polish Masters champion, 
It's the Dazzler himself. It's Daryl Fitton. And Daryl's opponent is none other than the reigning Lakeside World Champion. Welcome back, Scotty Too Hotty, Scott Waits. Game here. I know that both of these guys really won this tournament. A bit of personal pride here. Scott before he leaves and see what his uh, prediction is for this game. We were two very, very good players. I think uh, in the quarters, Daryl, excellent darts. Scotty, a little bit wayward, a little bit wayward, but I'm sure he's going to pick up, he's, he's laughing there, but I'm sure he's going to pick up his game for this one. Yeah, we're not used to Scott having so much fun, actually. I, I've never seen him uh, messing around so much before a game, but uh, you can first leg, Daryl throw first. Can rest assured they Game will on. really both be going for it now because obviously they both one of them they want to get to the final it's that simple and get a go at Stephen. thanks a lot scott thanks for your help and 125 and there's daryl straight straight into the 60 starting where he left off from the quarter final Ninety-six. Now Scott, he's dropped down to the nineteen game. I don't know. Is, is, is that normal for Scott to be dropping down to the nineteen so early? Forty-five. One hundred. So nice, nice round time for Scotty Waits. One hundred. One hundred. Excellent third dart. Split his other two darts. It wasn't very easy to get it in between there. He's just above the 60 at the moment. That could have, a few millimeters down, that could have easily been 180. 96. 51. Scott, you require 109. Daryl's left himself 120, so Shanghai on the 20s. 77. That's a lucky from Scotty. Daryl, you require 120. So we'll be looking for the 60, 20 double tops. 60 required to give himself 40. And he's got it, double tops. And 100. He's fallen just a little Scott, you require that. 32. And I'm sure that Scotty will come in and punish that last half from Daryl. Game shot on the first leg. Game. 
Scott White. A lovely third duck. Lovely third duck. Second leg, Scott to throw first. First duck. Second leg, Scott to throw first. First blood to fit in there. Up Game to the weight, sorry. Uh, fit and letting him in. Giving him a dart there. Uh, we were downstairs practicing earlier and Daryl took that 120 out. On a, few, on a few occasions on the practice floor, so he'd be a little bit disappointed with that. So first blood to weight, and then he starts the next leg. But fit and now, perfect dart for a 180. 140! Fantastic darts there to put pressure straight back on Scott after winning that first leg. 100! Scott responds there with a ton. Just right on the top wire, perfect for Daryl. Drop in for a ton. 100! Daryl in recent months has uh, swapped to target darts uh, from Windmill and he's now, now after a couple of months getting used to these new darts, he said they fit his hand lovely and I think we're just showing how well they fit his hand. 180! So again, let's not forget this is Daryl against the darts. Now 97. With that 180. Daryl, you require 81. Has now made him favourite for the leg. So where are we going? Yep, 24. Double 12. Game shot of the second Fantastic. leg. Fantastic. Fantastic from Daryl. So now Third he has... leg, Daryl to throw first. He enjoyed that. Game on. He enjoyed that. Now he has the darts in the third leg. Thanks very much, Scott. Yeah, Daryl decided to motor along. 45. Looks like it's pretty hot up there on stage. We're probably about 15 metres, 20 metres from the stage, and it seems fine here, but the guys are 96. There. Certainly going to come off the stage a bit lighter than before they went on. Okay, just above that 60 from Daryl. 50. That's a very, very unlucky fitting. Very lucky fitting from Daryl Fitton. One hundred. Nice recovery, dart the third dart from. It's got ways to keep his nose in front. Fifty-eight. Both of them drop down consistently to the nineteen. Obviously, these top-class players, you know, whatever treble they're going for. 47. They'll drop down to the 19, so you can just cover this. It's a lovely dart into the treble 19. And 134. And as, we, as we said earlier, the treble 19s, they seem to just pick them up. The same as the 60s. 45. He's doubled down again, and he's in there again. 134. That's really excellent, Dots. Scotty's not giving up on it yet. 137. Daryl, you require cracking 80. Lid. Cracking lip on both players. Just above on the 60. But he'll pick off the 20. 40. That's what he won't be Scott, happy with. Scott, you require 76. He's way with any will. He won't be happy with that. And Scott is in there. Game shot on the third leg. Scott waits. Fourth leg, Scott to throw first. They're smiling. They're both smiling on the stage, but there's a very big competition going on up there. A lot of mind games going on. 66. Daryl's dropped his first dart under the 60, so he's dropping down to the 19s. 96. Excellent third dart over the second dart. 
40. Big chance for fit in here. Very good third up. One hundred. Another game looks like it's going to go down to the check. Fifty-eight. Opportunity of Scotty. Big score here, put him in control of this leg. 114! Very well, we were saying that, puts him in control of this leg. He's on a finish. Darrell back on 247 at the moment. 58. Scott, you require 155. 60, triple 19. That's below. He'll try and fix it though. That's a good dance. 99. Daryl fits him back on 189. No check from there. Just try to get down. Put pressure on Scotty Waits. 99. Scott, you require 56. It's gone 20, 36, Scott Waits. 38. Just as he left himself down. Daryl, you're at 90. Daryl Fitton should punish Scotty here. 90. It's a full finish. Oh, 41. Dropped into the one, left himself 49. Scott, you require 18. Two nines for Scotty Waits. Has to wrap this leg up. Game shot on the fourth leg. Scott Waits. It's a very good dart. Very Fifth good dart. Fifth leg down dart. to throw first. Game on. Fifty-seven. So Scott really leading by the break. Dow would look for a little more there on that visit to start. But Scott and Albie relax. One hundred. Stats there. Seven and seven. Just nothing in it. There's just a 180 in it. And of course, the 3 1 on the leg count. 85. Daryl needs to hold this leg in, really. Scott's back in the lipstick. 100. Again, that's that perfect dart we were talking about. There we go. One along the side. One hundred and eighty. Fantastic. Fantastic. You could. He could put. Sixty. He puts. When he hits those one eighties, Daryl, it's like he puts all three points on a pinhead. It's amazing. Amazing to watch when he's in full throw. Again, looking to set this up now to back that 180. 99. Oh, that's a good last start there. Good last start. So with Scott having missed two travels there, Daryl should be favourable for the leg. Daryl, you require 80. 80. The little space has gone the 16 route. He'll probably stay there. 48. Nice and safe to go back at 32. Scott way back on 209. Looking to pressure. Daryl's 32. 59. Daryl, you require 32. So then, fitting. Get another leg back. 150. This is a visit Scott wouldn't have expected. Is he going to step in? No, he doesn't. He'll probably stay there. 60. Daryl, you require 32. Fitting. 32. Game shot on the fifth leg. Daryl Fitton. Sixth leg, Scott to throw first. Game on. 
so six legs got leading three two. One hundred now has the pressure on himself to hold the throw. Both lads here playing for a chance to play in the final against the world number one, Stephen Bunting. One hundred here at the Odyssey Hotel in Limassol at the Cypress Challenge 2013. 92 96 picks off that 19 again which Daryl's done so well this evening as his cover shot Swayze moves alongside to try and get the other one in there's a gap in the middle there is he going that way? 139. Good thinking. Good thinking to lead the 170. I was unaware of the score there. 99. Scott, you require 170. So, chance at the maximum checkout here. There's the first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great interaction with the crowd there. Fantastic. 81. All serious up there, but it's nice to see the lighter moments in a match. 96. Again, picks Scott, up the cover on the 19 from Fitton, so treble 19 for weights. He has to go 20 ball now. Bullseye. Game shot oh. of the sixth leg. Scott Bites. <laughs> Seventh leg, Daryl to throw first. Game well, on. Well, all we can say is he got there with that bullseye in the end. That's the second attempt at that leg at it. So, uh... Thanks, Scott. 100! Yeah, of course it's a serious game, but... Uh... The guys have been with the crowd here for the last two or three days, so some friendly banter. Never, 84. Never hurts. Anyway, 4 2. Scott waits ahead. Forty-two. Neither of the players really playing their A game. A bit of an A double minus at the moment. It really needs somebody to take one hundred on the scruff of the neck. Good ton there from Scotty Waits. Daryl straight into the sixty again. And the second one. Plenty of room, plenty of room. One hundred and forty. Look at the averages there, eighty-seven, eighty-three. And Scott also. Possible one eighty. One hundred and and there we are, another 180 for Scotty Waits. Needs another one. 85. That's unlucky. Scott, Scotty Waits, 137, treble 20, treble 19. Double 10. 97. And he's left himself for double tops for the 5 2 lead. In the 60, 74, it could be the 42, 32. He's done for the 60. 98. 30 Scott, you're required 40. Will Scott give him a chance of that double? Double tops. Game shot on the seventh. First leg. start straight in the middle. Scott waits. 5 2. S Scotty is one leg Scott away from the final. And a match with Mr. Bunting. And he has the darts. He's thrown that one a bit wayward. 28. It's an opportunity for Daryl. He's a high score. Take control of the leg. There he is. Needs another one there. 100. Daryl fitting. He's fighting for his life. Just one leg away. 100! Let's go to this battle with another ton. They're together with it. 
Daryl into the 61st dart, plenty of room. And he's there with the second, plenty of room for the third dart there. 139. The reason he went downstairs was that the second dart was a little bit shaky there. 100. Good darts for Scott. You can see he's not even happy with 100. Twenty-eight. Eighty-nine. Daryl, you're acquired one hundred and thirty-four. Always wayward into the five with a three-four finish. Twenty-five. That's very poor dart from Daryl Fitton. Scotty is not on a chair, but he can get get down to a score now. He's found the 60. 140! Daryl, you require 109. And he's in 57, double 16. Oh. 77. Uh, Scotty's free. Scott, you require 44. 44 for the, for the match. And a 6-2 win. 32, double 16. Just inside, double eight. 28. And Scott is outside as well. Daryl, you require 32. 92. Um, obviously now with Daryl stealing that leg to go 5-3, if he can then hold his own throw and go 5-4, we've got a game back on our hands again. 118! But, but right on cue, our former Grand Slam champion opens the leg with a 180. 100! So basically in the match, he's these in front, Mr. Waits. Oh, there's two. Is we going to get the third? 180! So that's the six perfect darts. We are on for a nine darter. One hundred. So here we go. Not you require one hundred and forty-one. Travel twenty. Ooh. <laughs> 82. He's very disappointed with that first dart. Fantastic darts beforehand. A 140 here from Daryl would still make life very interesting in this leg that was looking as a surefire or a little slip there. 39. Scott, you require 59. Good darts there from Daryl. Good thinking. Left himself on the match. Left himself a finish. Game. Shot. He won't get back. And the match. Second semi-final winner, Scott Waits. 6-3. He will meet Stephen Bunting in the Cyprus Challenge 2013 final. Thanks, Scott Mitchell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, two of the... Uh... The big guys in video darts, we're going to set them off stage together. Uh, he's reached the semi-finals today. Remember, all of the professionals come back to do it all over again here tomorrow. So we're going to see him on the stage in about 22 hours' time. Please put your hands together for Daryl Fitton. And we're going to see this man in the final. He'll be taking on Stephen Bunting. What a match that will be. Let's have a round of applause for Scott Waits. So, as I say, we've got one more match to come. It's the final. So, we're going to just let Scott have a five-minute break. And we'll be back very soon. So, a little bit of music. And back on stage in ten minutes' time.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> welcome back. Oh, am I too loud now? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Cyprus Challenge here in Limassol. We are down to the final two. And we're just going to get the sound right. Okay. Our players are standing by. Our sound man isn't. Sound all right over there? Are you happy? Yes, which one am I? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the final of tonight's Cyprus Challenge, and we have two of the world's best going head to head. We're going to welcome on stage, first of all, the BDO world number one and twice reigning Winmore World Master. Let's welcome the bullet, Stephen Bunting. <laughs> And what a match we have in store because the world number one and world master faces the reigning lakeside world champion. It's Scotty Too Hotty. Scott waits. Thank you to our lovely walk-on girls, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a round of applause. The Winehouse twins over there. And ladies and gentlemen, just to remind you and the players, the final now moves up to the best of 13 legs. Slow start, but while you, you know, if your bad games are still in, you Thank know, you you're still and gentlemen, in the tournament, final but a good game to come Cyprus out. Challenge. I think we saw a great game from Scott Best against Daryl Fitton legs. last the match. First leg, it's Scott to throw first. And I think this game could, on. I think this could be a close game. And Scott straight into the 60. 125. Yeah, Scott has come out gunning for the bullet. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Lovely third dart over the other two. Sneaking it in. Stephen has really got his eye in tonight. Eighty-one. Just seems to be speeding up and speeding up. One hundred. One 
114. One hundred. Well, Stephen, you require one hundred and forty. Pressure on Stephen Bunting to finish this leg. Is he going to finish it now? He needs that sixty. He needs a sixty. Forty-five. And he's just flicked off to Scott, the. Scott, you require seventy-six. Trouble twenty. Double leg for Scott Wright. Let's get those days. Double leg team. Game shot on the first Game leg. Shot. You can see the reaction. Scott, Scott Wright's there. He's up for the match now. Well, Second leg, Stephen to throw first. There's a lot of smiles between Game them, on. but there's a lot of rivalry there. <laughs> yeah, I think that was Scott saying, here I am, Stephen. You're the world number 96. one. 96. I'm the Lakeside champion. You know, we've got a, you've got a game on your hands here, mate. I'm not going to roll over. And it was a good finish. First dart. 82. So now... Really is game on, Stephen. Back in your lipstick. 66. Slight deflection there. One hundred and twenty-three. Good adjustment. Good adjustment to come back across there for the treble. I think the treble won the throw before, dart before. Ninety-seven. Stephen still keeping Scott, what we call honest. Staying there right with him. 85. Not letting the pressure up. The game's all about pressure. And who pressures who when? And who handles it and who doesn't? And Stephen. 140. Straight back in the red bit. 64. Oh, wayward. Stephen, you require 102. Went across for the treble 18 there with the last. So 102 for Stephen. Bullseye. Oh, he's missed that. 32 scored. 70 left. 54. Scott, you require 147. Ninety-five. Stephen, you require forty-eight. So first chance for the leg for Stephen. Double sixteen. Game shot on the second leg. Stephen Bunting. <laughs> Third leg, Scott to throw first. Game on. A little bit large there from Stephen there to get back for Scott for the first one. Yeah, they're, they're playing a few mind games. Thirty-nine. There. Windmill darts there, uh, bouncing out of the windmill board. The target darts are staying in there. 140! 140 from Stephen. One hundred and thirty-five. We've got a game on our hands here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a game on our hands. First to seven legs as well. 70. Good last start there. Good last start from Stephen. 84. 95. The crowd been very responsive tonight to good scores and good scoring which is always good to see they've really got in involved in the games 137 and as, and, as a, and as a player that is always absolutely barracking the bad scores cheering the good scores it's fantastic that's what you want as a player you, you want to you're here to entertain 35 and when when, when the guys that are, that are watching get involved 106 it does it does either make you play better or play worse it does have an effect so then wait 106 32 Game shot on the third leg. Scott Waits. <laughs> Fourth leg, Stephen to throw first. Certainly Game hot. Certainly hotting up in here. 
Dan's got, there's a lot of laughing on the stage, but it's dead serious up there. 140! Steve Bunning straight in two more 60s. And Scott is in there again. 135. 100. 60. Big score here from Steve Putnam in charge of the leg. Fifty-seven. Sixty. Well, it seems they both dropped off. One hundred and thirty-four. Good, Archer Stephen Bunting. Banter here, Scott Mitchell, with one in the crowd. You shall have to come on. One hundred and forty. Come on, Scotty and Steven, Scott Mitchell. Stephen, you require seventy. Best. There we go. It's gone through. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Game shot on Lovely. the fourth leg. You Stephen Bunting. You can see by the reaction on the check, this is a serious Fifth game. Fifth leg, Scott to throw first. Game on. They're shaking hands after every leg, but I think that's just a. Uh, Show for the crowd. One hundred. I think I think it's a bit of pre appreciation as well for I mean you know the guys are having good shots here. We we've had four legs and we've had four. Nineteen darts, four darts at a double, you know, and, and and that doesn't always happen. They can be nervy, nervy, cagey affairs, and uh, these two know each other enough that that. Forty one. You, you you would you would see it sometimes. It depends who was playing who. No, proper probably not. No no no. Here we go. One eighty one. One hundred and forty. I mean, some players prefer to be not liked by the crowd, by your opponent, and they feel that that's a safe place for them to 90. be. Ninety. Because they know who to trust, which is basically nobody, because you've upset them all. Some players have that line of thought, but there aren't many, and obviously Ted springs to mind. Ted Hankey springs to mind. But 92. Most of the guys, we, d we do have a good camaraderie between us. We do travel with each other 20 times a year. And um, it may sound strange. We are 60. It's an old Tony O'Shea Stephen, quote. Stephen, you require 170. We can be with each other, the guys on the circuit, at weekends more than we're with our partners, uh, our respective partners. So 60. We do get to know each other's mannerisms pretty well. So here we are then, at the tail end of the leg. Bunting down on a shot. Scott looking to leave one. 16. Which he has one. Stephen, you require 110. He'd like to put a little more pressure on this shot, but 110 for Stephen. Oh, perfect. 18. Double 16. Game shot on the fifth leg. Stephen Bunting. Another leg goes with just one dart at a double. This is a fantastic stand of the darts. Throw first. Game on. He is starting to motor Stephen here, and it's and it was a breaker throw again as well. Scott broken the leg before, thinking he, he you know, just needed to hold his own darts, and then all of a sudden Stephen comes straight back and breaks him. Fantastic darts. That's Scott. Seventy-seven. We're seeing some good good legs here. A lot of respect between the players. I just think that Stephen is motoring a little bit. 58. Faster than Scott and... Uh, but he's straight into the 60 against Scotty Waits. And there's the second one. 121. The third one left him. The crowd getting involved. Pushing both players. 140. One hundred. Neck and neck in the leg here. One hundred. 
nicely bunting down 143 finish. Scotty weighs 203, needs a big one here. 55. Stephen, you require 143. Big finish, big finish. Just 95. Scott, you require 148. left for bunting, 16 double 16. Scott, you want to finish? Needs to keep the darts there, needs to pressurise bunting. 100. 16 double 16. Stephen, you require 48. Would it be Scotty a chance to get in here? Game shot on the sixth leg. Stephen Bunting. I can't remember, but I don't think he's missed many leg, checks Scott tonight. To throw first. His checks seem to be first, first start. Checking everything out here, Stephen. 100. Not missing a thing. Right on cue, he hits 85. a big five. That's what I say, he's not missing a thing, he hits a big five. Thank you, Stephen. Scott, back in the red bit. 100! Both style of throw here is a very powerful throw. It's a strong, hard... Here we go again, back in the red bit. 140! It's a very direct throw that both players have, and it seems to give them... Huge amounts of success. Here we go, it's Scott. Straight back at him. 140. Back to back 140s. It's a great match. He's in again. 140. This is a, this match. Scott, is a, you require 161. This is a treble 20 fest. 51. 89. Straight into the treble three. Stephen, you require 136. This is a fast and furious match now. Treble 20. Another treble 20. We come out for the 16. 128. By coming out there. Scott, you require means he can't 72. Bust. The faster game suits Bunting. Game oh, shot on the seventh leg. Scott well, I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've had Eight seven legs, legs to and we've had first. seven darts at a Game on. A truly amazing match. The finishing is second to none. You just don't see this very often. Stevens back in again. 120. We, we call that a 180 on the floor. As Scott was saying, the, the faster the game goes, the faster they throw, I think this is going to favour Steve Bunting. But Scott is in there again, two sixties. One hundred and forty. One hundred. This is excellent, Dars. This is what we wanted to see in Cyprus. Been four of the top players from the UK to Cyprus. 100! And we can see these two guys are going at it. 60! Ninety-one! So the users go down for a treble 17, but... Uh, Eighty-five. Scott, he's got a Scott, finish. you require one hundred and seventy. We'll have the maximum finish. Let's see what Scotty does with this. Fifty-eight. Stephen, you require one hundred and thirty-six. Triple twenty, triple twenty, double eight. He's missed the first one. It's going to stay there. Uses it. Sixty. Sixty. Scott, Scott you require one hundred and twelve. One hundred and twelve. Bring it back to four all. Got their 60, 52, 32, double 16. Game He's there the for Scotty Waits. Lovely Scott finish, Waits. 112. Ninth leg, Scott to throw first. Game on. Fantastic game of darts, this. 
This is what people have come. This is what people have come to see tonight. This is what the Cypress Darts Challenge was all about, and that's why it was brought here to the Odyssey Hotel in Limassol. One hundred. And I think that anybody's here in the room so far with this final, they've not been disappointed this evening. We've had a little bit of everything, and now we've got that fantastic game. One hundred and forty. That we were looking for in a final. And these two boys are duly serving it up. 100! Mm. Oh, he's coming 130! Yeah. Good thinking. Initially he went for a 25, but he, he hit the ball, so that's left in the shot. Stevens come out. 134! That's himself, 167. 135. So, Stephen will be coming back if, if he doesn't get out here. Oh, treble 15. Oh, we went the 19 route. 94. Stephen, you require 167. Big finish. Just a tad out. 59. So, Scott, you require 41. Not a big deal of pressure on weights you shot here for the ninth. First missed a uh, double. Game shot of the ninth leg. It was only one. It Stop was it. only one. Tenth leg, Stevens. So from four two first. down. Game on. Weights now takes the lead at 5-4. 100. From four two down, Scotty Waits. He's now 5 4 up, game site into motor. 85. Steve Bunning, he's got to find that 60. He's got to find that 60. 59. Scotty Ways, opportunity. 48. Straight into the 60, Steve Bunting. Needs another one. 100. <laughs> 57. Yeah, usually the dots with Scotty Ways. The first 20 is above, above the 60. And then he's straight down at the 19. I don't know what that is. 58. <laughs> Needs a good sort of Scotty to get back into this leg. Steve Bunting. 60. 130 ahead. In control of the leg, Steve Bunting. He's straight into the 60. There he is again. 136. Steve Bunting down on 48. Scotty Waits back on 251. 45. Like Steve. Steven, you require 48. Like Steve, Steve Bunting going to level the legs up at 5 all. Double 16. Just outside. 32. Scott needs a big score here. Pressurised Stephen Bunting. But he's dropped into the 5. Thirty. Double A, Steve Stephen, Bunting. Stephen, you require for, for five all. He's on the outside with both of those dots. And he's inside Eight. on the third dot. Scott Waits not on a finish. Good 100. Scott, he waits. Stephen, you require eight. Steve Bunting, double four for five all. One. No score. Oh, Scott, you require 76. A leg which he thought must have been lost. He's got a chance to pinch it. He's straight into the 60 double eight. And Game he's there. Shot of the 10th leg. Scott Wait. No way he was expecting that leg there. It's first to seven, thank you. 
The 11th leg is Scott to throw first. And it's Scott to throw first. Game on. Could be the deciding leg. He's into the 60. 87. He's fighting for his life. Forty-one. So not the opening start that Stephen would have expected, but to lose that leg from where he was, truly remarkable. One hundred. Very unusual thing for Stephen to do, but it happens, ladies and gentlemen. That's darts. He's back in that red bit now. One hundred and forty. The doubles from the leg four almost forgotten. One hundred. Those last darts over the top from weights into the sixty always hurt. That third dart trouble twenty, but here comes Stephen with first two in. One hundred and forty. Pace of the game has been raised. 's now looking to leave a hand 100 which he has he'll be back Waits will be back for the 114 so now the bullet trying to leave something to pressurize weights Super 100 start super Scott, last you start require in the corner. 140 so here it is Scott Waits, 114 12 18 double top for the Cypress challenge 94. So, Stephen, you require 80 to save himself. 80 for spunting. Yes, double 10. Game shot on the 11th leg. Stephen Bunting. The match. The 12th match. leg, Stephen to throw first. The match Game goes on. into a 12th leg. Has the momentum turned again with Bunting? It has. 140. He couldn't have wished for more than that. It's a fantastic start to the leg. Puts the pressure straight back on weights. 96. In fairness, responds. Plenty of room there for another. 140. Well listen, Stephen. Well listen to the commentator. Again, a good first start from Scott. 140. So, 40 points plus these to Bunting in hand. Need to travel badly. 43. Doesn't get one. Doesn't get one. Went out down to the business end here. One hundred and thirty-four. Superb switch. If he'd have hit a single eighteen there, would have left him one six seven. Good thinking. Bunting goes over. Forty-eight. Not quite so. Got you require one hundred and thirty-one. Millimeters making the difference. So can't get out now. Seventy-five losing fifty-five. Ninety-five. Stephen, you require 130. 56, yeah, to leave him 36. So this is to save himself. Needs to travel. He's missed it. 65. Scott, you require so, 36. Waits for the second time of asking for the Cypress Challenge 2013, first night of the event. One outside. Oh, his tense nervous headache. 18. He's missed it. Bunting has a chance. To take Steven, this down the last. 65. It's 65 for Bunting to go six apiece. We said it'd be tight at the start. We said it would probably go all the way. Now will it? He's not happy with that dart. He is not happy with that at all. Fifty-three. Double six. Takes a sip of drink. He has one dart to stay in the tournament. 59. And I'm from England and I live closer than that. Scott, you require 18. Perhaps he got some water on his hands from the drink. Now then, double nine. 
<laughs> Crowd getting involved in this one. Game shot, and tonight's Cyprus Challenge Champion, you Scott Waits. Congratulations, Scott Waits, on a great victory, 7-5, over the nil number one, Stephen Bunting. What a fantastic match to end tonight's play at the 2013 Day 1 Cyprus Challenge Tour. Thank you, Scott Mitchell. Ex excellent final. We, have, we haven't been disappointed. Excellent final. And maybe we'll see Scott Mitchell in the final tomorrow night. Uh, let me get some more practice tomorrow. But hey, I hope so. Thanks a lot, Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, our runner-up, Stephen Bunting, our champion, Scott Waits. We're going to keep both players on the stage for the interviews and the presentation. To make the interview, once again, we welcome on stage Fortis. So, the winner first, Cyprus Challenge Day 1 winner. I would like your comment, please, for every player that said that like. Easy. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's been good, re really good. I've enjoyed my games tonight. It started off slow and he's got better and better. Um... The standard of the players has been absolutely fantastic. The Cyprus players have been brilliant. The Goon Steven, a good run for the money myself. So, really enjoyed ourselves today. And tomorrow, come on, come and get us. Ah. I have to translate that. I would prefer the other one like that. <laughs> so, uh, Kiros Waits. Θέλω να ευχαριστήσει όλους, ήταν όπως πέρναγε η μέρα, βελτιωνότανε, έκανε ό,τι καλύτερο μπορούσε. Ε, μας προσκαλεί όλους αύριο να είναι εδώ. Ευχαριστεί πάρα πολύ τους Κύπριους παίκτες, παίξαν πάρα πολύ καλά και σας θέλει όλους αύριο πάλι εδώ μαζί με τους υπόλοιπους. Now, Steven. Steven, the runner-up. Okay, it was a hard game. Uh, you actually stole one leg from... No, you stole the leg. You actually lost the leg. I don't know how you did that. Too many s you gave him too many chances on that. He's a fantastic player. He's not world champion for nothing. We're really good friends. Ev each one of the pros that have come over here, we're all good friends. So we've all had a fantastic time and uh, hopefully the same tomorrow. And the players are really, really good, by the way. Ο κύριος Μπάντινγκ λέει ότι ο Steve Waits που κέρδισε, παρόλο το ότι έχασε, του έκλεψε ένα leg μέσα από τα χέρια, δεν είναι τυχαία παγκόσμιος πρωταθλητής. Εγώ θα μου επιτρέψετε το σχόλιο μου ότι ούτε εκείνο είναι τυχαία του δύο συνεχόμενες χρονιές World Master. I had to add that. And all, όλοι οι παίκτες παίξανε καταπληκτικά. Μας περιμένουν και αύριο, θα έχουμε μια φανταστική βραδιά. Επίση, θέλω να συγχαρεί και του Κύπριου παίκτε που έξαναν πάρα πολύ καλά και σα περιμένει όλου εδώ αύριο. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to make the presentations. We ask the two players to stay exactly where they are as we bring on stage our manager here at the Odyssea Hotel, Mr. Michael Christoffi, accompanied by the president of the Pan-Cyprian Dance Federation, Nikos Adamou. <laughs> Are all the players here? Even our commentator, Scott Mitchell? So we begin at the beginning, the youngest of our players this evening. Please give him a round of applause. He played great darts, certainly did not deserve the whitewash. He should be in bed already, but he's still up with us, ladies and gentlemen. Just 17 years of age, Nicolas Ikonomu. And you can have your picture taken with the ladies. 
In the middle, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas Ikonomu. We also had on stage a gentleman from Liversoul that didn't make it through to the semi-finals, but we're going to give him a great big cheer. Nerves got the better of him. A far better player than we saw on the stage. Come on, make some noise for Stelios Stiliano. <laughs> Delios, well done, sir. And we must not forget the gentleman from Famagusta here this evening. He's smiling now, wasn't smiling too much on stage. Come on, make some noise for Nectarios Motis. <laughs> no one have your picture. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there, there was a fourth player that lost out in the quarterfinals. And he's from England. A round of applause, please, for Scotty Dog, Scott Mitchell. <laughs> He'll be back with a vengeance tomorrow. With revengeance. Oh, I see. Handshake with the hotel manager first. Ladies and gentlemen, a great guy. Come on, let's hear it once more for Scott Mitchell. He'll be back on stage tomorrow with Scott, but there was a gentleman that it was one night only here, and he reached the semi-finals. A terrific win over Scott. I'm sure Scott would agree. Brilliant finishing. I think he deserves the biggest cheer of all. Let's hear it for Hermos Carrato. <laughs> yep, an extra prize for the best moustache. We do Movember at home. He's been growing that since uh, about 30 Novembers ago. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once more, Hermos Corathu. His fellow semi-finalists, ladies and gentlemen, play some great dance tonight. We're looking forward to seeing him dancing his way back to the stage tomorrow. It's Daryl Fitton. Yep, high fives and all sorts there. I just want to know what's in those envelopes. Ladies and gentlemen, once more, the big man himself, Daryl Fitton. So we had a terrific final there. I put the mockers on our runner-up saying he hadn't dropped a single leg. And I think it upset him losing that first leg of the match. Not to mention the 112 checkout from his opponent a bit later on. But ladies and gentlemen, he's tonight's runner-up. I know he's going to be keen to go all the way tomorrow. But for now, let's hear it for the bullet, Stephen Bunting. <laughs> he's a brave man giving Daryl Fitton a slap.
This is the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Once more, our runner-up, Stephen Bunting. Well, we've been announcing him all night. He is, of course, our Lakeside World Champion, and he's come across to Cyprus and done the business here this evening. He is our first Cyprus Challenge winner. He's Scott Waits. Our Cyprus Challenge Champion, Scott Waits. A group picture, please, gentlemen. We must get the group picture up here on stage. Can we get Stephen in the middle, please? Ladies and gentlemen, our first Cyprus challenge is over. Please, as they leave the stage, show your appreciation to Nicholas, to Stelius, to Nectarius, to Irmos, to Daryl Fitton, Scott Mitchell, Stephen Bunting, and our champion, Scott Waits. So, ladies and gentlemen, that just leaves me to thank everybody involved here at the event at the Hotel Odyssea. Especially to our Pan Cyprian Darts Federation. And, of course, uh, BDO events that have helped put on the event this evening. Our biggest thanks, of course, go to everybody that's made it possible from commentary to sound to scoring to streaming we cannot do these sort of events without you so thank you very much indeed but the biggest cheer of all as always goes to our players so please ladies and gentlemen show your appreciation to our darts players both the Cypriot challengers and our professional players from England we do it all again tomorrow same time same place so hopefully many of you will join us for the show here at the Odyssey Hotel tomorrow evening from everybody involved with BDO events here in Cyprus, good evening. <laughs>